All right, we're up and running. Hey guys, uh, this is Nate Tate, and I'm making this video because um, every week I am doing Medicare planning with people, and the subject that they most often ask about that's not directly related to Medicare is Social Security. Most people are taking them at the same time. And so I thought I would do this little video to basically answer the five questions that I hear the most about Social Security, and um, it should be a good educational framework to um, precede talking with a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm happy to recommend you to people who are, if you don't have anyone that you work with currently or someone who has been already recommended to you from your circles. So anyway, with that said, let's jump in. The number one question, not number one is if as in the most important, but just the first question to ask is when? When can I start taking my Social Security? And it's got a simple answer. You can start drawing it any time between the ages of 62 and 70. And that leads to the second question, which is why? Why? would I wait to start drawing Social Security? After all, the government has been ever so kindly and faithfully pulling money out of your paychecks all these years and putting it into the Social Security Fund, why would one want to delay getting what is theirs? Well, the answer to that is because um, the longer you put it off, the more it'll grow. See, when you start taking Social Security, the moment you decide to do that, whatever that amount is, is what you will get for the rest of your, of your life. And it will only go up if the government does a cost of living adjustment, in which case it won't be very big, or if you continue to work and you have an extremely good year of making money. That could also raise it up a little bit. So um, to give you guys an example, the government has set something called full retirement age. That's going to be either between ages 66 and 67. Full retirement age. Sorry about that. And that's when you get, if you wait until full retirement age, that's when you start drawing your full Social Security benefit. It's going to be a lot bigger than if you just started drawing it immediately. So, for the purpose of illustration, this is not an actual amount necessarily that you will get. We start drawing Social Security, but let's say that if you waited until your full retirement age is 67 and you wait until 67, then you'll start getting $1,000 a month for your, um, your Social Security payment if you wait until then. But let's say you say, I don't want to wait until then, I want to start drawing at age 62. Well, if you start drawing then, then your Social Security amount might be reduced by as much as 30%. So instead of getting $1,000, if you wait till age 67, you'd only be getting $700 for every month for the rest of your life. That's why um, you might consider waiting. Now, this of course jumps into our third question, which is, should I? Should I wait to start drawing my Social Security? And definitely a, a fair question. And this is really when you want to, the one that you really want to work out with a financial planner. You need to cover a number of basics and they can help you do that. The, um, the time it takes for somebody to regain the lost month's payments, even though there would be lower amounts, it's usually about 12 years. So if you wait till age 65 to start taking your Medicare, and it probably won't be until about age 77 that you make up for the, um, the three years between age 62 and age 65 that you weren't taking payments. So how long do you expect to live? How long did your parents live? What did your doctor say? Those sorts of questions and others your financial planner will help you uh, hash out to put together the plan for when you should take your Social Security. Question number four is how much? How much Social Security will I get? Kind of a 
funky age there. How much? Um, that thousand dollar figure that I used, um, I wouldn't take that as any sort of benchmark. The average amount that people get when they draw their social security is fifteen hundred dollars. Yours might be more, might be less, who knows. What the government bases that off of is that they look at your top 35 years of earnings. So let's say you worked 40 years. They'll look at the 35 years that you made the most money. And based off of that amount of income that you put into the Social Security Fund, that's how much they're, that's how they will derive the amount of Social Security that you get. So that's in a nutshell. Now, the final question people ask is, what happens if I draw Social Security while working, you know? Is there a tax? And there isn't a tax on your Social Security. Um, it could be reduced. The government's put out a magic number and that amount is Sixteen thousand nine hundred and twenty. If you file singly, if you are filing jointly, then it's double that. But if you're single and you make over sixteen thousand nine hundred twenty dollars and you are drawing social security, then your social security benefit will be reduced by one dollar for every two dollars that you make over that amount. So just for the sake of example, again, we're going to assume that you're drawing $1,000 a month in Social Security. Now let's say you make $500 more than this. So the math is right, 17420 If you make that much money, then you make $500 more, which means your benefit's gonna be reduced by $250. So for the course of that year, you would get $750 a month plus your $17,420. And that will continue while you work. Now. When you stop working, then this will immediately hop up to the um, the agreed upon amount, no more reduced. So you don't have to worry about that for the long run. Now, one more thing about working while you're drawing Social Security is that if you have a really good good earnings year, and I kind of hinted at this earlier, if you make more money in one of those years while you're drawing Social Security than you did in one of the 35 years that they used to calculate the initial Social Security amount that you would get, it replaces the lowest of those years. And so that's one of the ways your Social Security could get a little bit of a bump up in those sorts of circumstances. Anyway, um, these are the, the five most common questions that I run into about Social Security. Again, really recommend talking to a financial planner. And I can recommend somebody. Um, Social Security is where they're gonna draw your Medicare Part B premiums from and possibly your drug plans. So if you have any questions about Medicare, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, more questions about Social Security, I can always shoot to answer more of those as well. So anyway, that's this in a nutshell, and it's spring. Have a fantastic day. Bye.